Hi, I'm Nate with the Campalorians. Today, we're gonna talk about adding power to the outside of this Intec Pursue. And by power, I mean a USB-C, USB quick charge, and 12 volt ports to run things like a hot water heater or any other 12 volt appliance you have. The first step in this process is actually figuring out what power you need and where you're gonna need it. Is charging an iPad, charging tablets, charging phones. So we have selected USB-C at 30 watts and a USB quick charge all in one. And then we're going to be installing this 12 volt cigarette lighter port in the other side here. So it will look something like this. So this way we can charge our phone or laptop or we can charge any other 12 volt appliance or put in a cigarette lighter adapter that can also charge another phone or whatever. This gives us the most flexibility. Second part of this process is figuring out exactly where you want the power. So what we've chosen to do is put it on our kitchen slide out here. And what we're gonna do is figure somewhere in here that we want this to be. And we're gonna have to go around to the other side and see where the divider is, where the gas lines run. And then we're just gonna trace this out. We'll drill our holes, put it in and get it all wired up. What you wanna do is open this up here and we're typically gonna to wanna to put our power right up in here in this corner here. And the reason is we wanna stay away from the burners. We wanna stay away from the propane line and also wanna keep it out of the way so we don't hit in all of our kitchen stuff here into the slide. So we've already marked it here, but I wanna show you how we did that here. So basically took a tape measure we're gonna place this here now and make sure that it's even with this straight line here. So all we did is placed it here, measured this at about right at seven centimeters on both sides, and then took our Sharpie, put it in and exit on. This is exactly where we're gonna drill our holes. And now for the fun part, drill in the hole. So real quick, this is our uh, USB-C and USB quick charge. On the back, it's just two little studs. It's clearly marked one side is your positive, one side is the negative. But now this is where it's a good idea to have a friend because we're gonna put this through this bezel and then put it through the hole and then tighten this nut down on it. And once we get it tight and level, then we're going to put some self-tapping screws in through these four holes. wondering what a self-tapping screw is, this is it. It's basically a screw with a little end that functions as a drill bit and will also thread the hole so that the threads here will catch. So our USB adapters came with these nice little wire pigtails. So what we're gonna do is on those terminals that we showed earlier, this will go on one of the positive terminals, this will go on the other positive terminal. This will do the same for the negative terminal, and then we will wire up to this end here. But now we need to run our wires to our electrical source. So what we're gonna use is actually 14 gauge wire. Very simple, 100 foot roll here. You're probably only gonna need six feet at most. What we're gonna do though, is we're gonna actually wire this up underneath our slide, and we're gonna come up back here and tap into where the refrigerator plugs in for its 12 volt port. We just disconnected this from the back of the slide and here it is. This is all that it is that's on the back side of your, uh, your slide, right back here where your refrigerator's 12 volt plugs into. So we have our 12 volt outlet taken apart here. It's just two screws and you can see here the back side. We've got two wires. The center terminal here is positive. The side terminal is negative but this wire here got a blue stripe down the center that is positive and then the white wire here that is our negative we're just going to note that so we remember which one is positive and which one is negative we want to utilize the existing cable management clips that are already built in here so we're just sliding these in to keep them secure let me explain real quick these little connectors 
On the back of our 12 volt port from the trailer slide, there's our positive and negative. This is a male connector. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a little harness that splits this out. The power feed is female. So we're gonna use these two male connectors to go into that female feed and then split that into two positive and two negative terminated with two sets of female connectors. So one of those will go to this positive and negative and our other one will connect and run to our new USB ports. Here is our finished harnesses. Red is going to go on the center. Black is going to go to the side, which is negative. And this is gonna plug into the corresponding side. Then we're going to terminate with some mill ends on our wires that run to our USB port. So now we're gonna use a heat gun to shrink the heat shrink wrap that's on here. It's got a little glue, a little adhesive in there. We'll activate and you know hold it tight, make it waterproof. Nothing will be able to pull out. So now we're gonna wire our harness that goes onto our adapters and tap them into the power that we just wired into the 12 volt receptacle on the back of the slide. Now we're ready to hook it up. So we're gonna take the red wires and hook them to our positive terminal here and our positive terminal here. And then we'll take our red black wires and they're gonna go to our negative terminal. And our negative terminal, now all we're gonna do is tuck these wires in here, kind of pull it tight and get everything tucked away nice and neatly. Look at that, there's power. It is? 13.5, baby. Now children, do not put your finger in there. Makes you all like a Michael. <laughs> what did we forget to do? Oh, we forgot one little minor detail. We forgot to put all this clean back up. together. Yes, clean up. So gonna make this nice and tidy, screw this plate back on, tuck all the wires in, and we will be done. Moment of truth. We're gonna use this right, fancy light. And we're gonna see if it actually works. This is not a three volt, right? It has to be in the big one. All right. Ta-da! Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you like that, buddy? 